came, when I came to, to England, they didn't really know what England like. <laughs> I have to learn what is England. <laughs> if, at nine, I came in Oxford in 1958. Now, they, when I came here, there was no West Indian kids. You see, a few black, black kids were here, but <laughs> you never see them because they, 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 among the children, I would say it's about four or five in a hundred. You can imagine what Cowley was like because I think my brothers had a friend who was dark and it was a novelty so you can imagine what what Cowley was like and he was the only dark man that I ever saw or knew while I was in Cowley in my youth. We never had dark people or anybody at all and that was it was quite a novelty you know. Well then when I was at Littlemore School I can't there was it was just little more people. And then the headmistress came and she was Welsh. When she spoke a Welsh accent, we all laughed. There was no coloured kids, no, nothing, just that. And then we had one coloured man, they called him Sam. And he sold all silk stuff, scarves and things like that. My mother bought a scarf off him. And he used to go outside the factory. And when they came out of the factory, there was a little canteen, Johnson's canteen, and he used to go in there on Fridays when they all got the pay and he used to sell stuff for them. That is the only coloured man I ever see as a boy. Um, when, when the Afro-Caribbean um, people started to come to Oxford, the, the earliest recollection I have is when I used to go to ABC Miners down at the picture, at the uh, pictures at the Regal. Most of the bus conductors were West Indian and I just can remember that I could never understand what they were saying. <laughs> so I always made sure that I had the right money uh, for the bus fare so that I'd just, I'd just hand it over and uh, so, you know, they, they were very difficult to understand being a, a young child but that's, that's the first recollection I could have. There was not a lot of friction. You could easily fit in. I could I find out from the very first day because the, the accent, Oxford people speak with a fluent accent that is easier to learn than Birmingham. Yes, it's, uh, yes, that's the reason why I came into Oxford is to learn the, the learning. The, the, because you're easier to understand the people first. You know, you like Berman, they say, boom, boom. And you wonder what they're talking about. <laughs> and the, the, you, 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 in Oxford, the house for the foreman. But Birmingham, they said, where, where is the gaff here? As far as I was concerned, the West Indians that moved into, had anything to do with, were absolutely charming. They came to this country, they worked, they got had their own houses. They didn't ask for anything, um, and they were accepted. And they're very, very nice people. I mean, this little coloured family that came mm. to uh, and actually, Af um, Caribbean people did integrate, didn't they? They did. They were very friendly. They were very friendly. They became part of the community. They joined churches and became active members. Uh, and there was no problem that I ever knew. No problem at all in Cowley with, with their arrival.